to the channel. My name is Frank. Today I'm going to show you how I create smooth, professional looking skin for my videos without having any knowledge about makeup. Let's get right into it. So I just want to clarify that I have no knowledge about makeup. I have no idea how to apply it, but I'm just going to go based on what I think looks good on her skin. What I'm gonna use is a plugin called Beauty Box and it's from Digital Anarchy. And it's just to pretty much retouch skin. That's all it really is for. You will get professional looking results in seconds. And the first thing, once you apply it right away, you'll see a subtle effect. It's very subtle. It looks a little bit blurred out, smoothed out. Once you apply it, you can look at the effect by looking at the mask, show mask, and it will show you this white area where the effect is being applied and the black it's not. Here we're gonna go and pick a frame that you might think you like. Okay, so let's go and pick that one. You can auto analyze it, so it will auto apply the effect for you. Right, right away you'll see it and it took a little bit of more effect okay you come over here and increase the smoothing amount to make it look more airbrushed or if you lower it it'll show more of the details you can show more of the skin details without losing any of the smoothing so if I lower this, it'll show more of her skin texture. And if I increase it, it'll make it more like airbrushed. It has that professional look. If you don't, if you want to do this manually, you can always go and reset it. Come over here on the light color. Pick the lightest color of her skin. Let's go with this and the darker color of her skin, somewhere around here. And it will also give you your results. You can also increase the details to, look at, to have it look airbrush, since that's what most people want, that airbrush effect. To preserve small details, this right here, I'm not sure what it actually preserves, as I cannot tell what it preserves. It doesn't really show, but I'm guessing it will preserve small details on the skin. Sharpen, it will do that. It will sharpen the image. And if you just want to sharpen the face, just click on the mask. It will just sharpen the mask. It won't sharpen like the hair or you can color correct it, changing the hue, which will make the color temperature warmer or colder. If you want her to look like the She-Hulk or just give it a different feel, kind of like a vampire or something like that. You can also use like a filter and you can also remove shine. Uh, let's go ahead and try this one so you can see it. It also works for men, which men are not really too big on having their skin look all that, so but it will sort of wrinkle smooth out some of the wrinkles on the face and stuff like that blemishes any little specks that you have or so if we apply this and we use the shine removal it'll remove the shine sometimes shine makes your face look a little oily so it will give it like a more natural look so right away you see it takes away the shine you can also invert the mask if you have to if you want the effect 
to not be on her face, but just her hair. And this will render pretty fast. This 15 second, this seven second clip will render in about 20 seconds. So it, it's using your graphics card. So the, the better your graphics card is, the faster it will render and export. It also works for After Effects, but I noticed that it works a little faster on Premiere Pro just because After Effects uses more of the CPU. So there you have it, there you could achieve professional looking results in just seconds. Just move a few sliders and you'll be good to go. This will also work on any type of skin texture. You can also remove shine and it will give you great results right away. Just focus in on her skin tone mainly. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. If you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you for watching.